Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something super fun to take a look at, as we have recently reviewed the Safari LTD Dino Dana Feathered Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, we now have the hatchlings from the Dino Dana line to take a look at, as we have five different hatchlings included in the line currently. But before we get into the review, I do want to make sure that you guys are aware of the fact that if you are interested in picking up these or any other Safari LTD figures, make sure you head to the description after the video is over because I will include a link there for you to click to take you straight to the Safari LTD website where you can use the code ANDY to get yourself 15% off of any Safari LTD items you order. Or again, the link in the description will actually take you to the website and apply the discount code automatically. So you can go that route, or you can, of course, do the code version where you just add the code Andy to save 15% off. But one way or another, make sure you use that discount code and get yourself a really cool discount on some awesome Safari LTD figures today. But as far as the species that we actually have included in the Dino Dana hatchling line, you have a Stegosaurus. It does state the name of the species right here on the front of the eggs. You've also got a Triceratops, which you can see on this egg here. And then you have, if we put it up the right way, we've got ourselves a Quetzalcoatlus in this egg, which I'm really excited to see these hatchling repaints and then you've got yourself a baby spinosaurus as well and that would mean that this one is the tyrannosaurus rex so we've got five different babies again to take a look at and the eggs themselves are actually really quite nice like if you take a nice close look at the eggs the actual texturing of the eggs is quite beautifully done and safari ltd has applied a really nice wash to the eggs so it gives it some nice color variation making the eggs look pretty realistic overall on top of just being a fun addition to the set including a really cool baby dinosaur or in this case right here of the one i'm holding a pterosaur so let's go ahead crack all of these open and take a look at the babies inside so included with each egg you have kind of a slip here that tells you the different baby dinosaurs in the dino dana line that you can collect and again showing off each of the species that we had just mentioned but we also have kind of an image here on the back that has like a code for you to scan where you can then Check out each of the dinosaurs in an augmented reality setting where you can download this app, the Dino Dana Dino Player app from the App Store and then check out all of your dinosaurs or again, the Pterosaur, the Quetzalcoatlus in an augmented reality setting. So that's really cool to have even more to go with your already awesome figures. And then we've got ourselves the Quetzalcoatlus hiding in there. Really nice looking actually, like that looks super, super nice. You've also got yourself a Spinosaurus, which is just as nice, I would say, as the Quetzalcoatlus. Like a really cool looking, very appealing looking paint scheme. He's not going to stand up in that packaging, though. I've got to get them out of there. We've also got a T-Rex, which looks really, really cool as well. And then they're obviously all sporting the Dino Dana paint schemes on them. There is the Triceratops, which actually might be my favorite of all of these because that is really beautiful. And then the Stegosaurus as well. So we've got a really cool baby Stegosaurus. So just tons of really nice looking hatchlings. Let's go ahead. We'll pop each of these out of their packaging and take a closer look at them right now. So we will start with the Stegosaurus. And you can see that as far as the actual sculpt of the Stegosaurus goes, it is really quite beautiful, and that's not surprising being that this is a Safari LTD figure. You are almost guaranteed a really nicely, highly detailed sculpt out of anything Safari LTD. But you can see that the actual Stegosaurus itself has a very nice texturing to the skin and lots of nice creasing and everything going on throughout the entire figure. You can see the head sculpt looks quite beautiful. You have the nostrils sculpted out up there, as well as that very large baby-like eye, obviously giving it that hatchling-like appearance. The mouth is sculpted open just a tad. You can see the tongue in there, and the inside of the mouth is given a, a little bit of a variation of a darker blue in there, as do the nostrils. The eyes are painted with a nice black and also include a nice little white area behind it, and you can see that they are really beautifully glossed, so they have a very nice and realistic lifelike eye shine to them. The underside of the dinosaur sports the throat really nicely elaborated in the sculpt right there. You've got some beautiful skin detail here on this side. As you can see, the legs are spread apart further here on this side, so the skin's stretching nicely off of the stomach region. And just generally, you can see, like, a really nice structure to the entire figure as far as, like, the body goes. Like, you can really make out the fine detailing, like, the muscle tone, 
a little bit of girth in the stomach and everything. Lots of really nice detail to be found on these hatchling figures. And you can see that as far as the coloration goes, we have a really nice light blue, but it transitions to like a greenish blue as you get closer up here into the plates. And then once you actually reach the plates, the plates have a red for the upper back end of the plates all together and then you can also see like some nice orangish spots with kind of like an off-white or a yellowish ring that runs around those spots and then you can also see the little baby thagomizers out here at the end of the tail which looks super cute really really nice looking sculpted baby stegosaurus but it's beautifully matching up to the color scheme from what i can recall from both dino dan and now dino dana so that is a really cool baby stegosaurus a beautiful safari ltd hatchling figure and then we have our insanely cute quetzalcoatl list you can see the quetzalcoatl list has lots of really nice color variation to the face you can see the mouth is open on the quetzalcoatl list as well the tongue sticking up a little bit right there in the inside of the mouth definitely a very nice realistic tone of color for the inside of the mouth a really nice kind of a pinkish tone of color you can see a nice blue bordering all around the eye and the eye itself is kind of like a pinkish type of a color like a light red and then given a nice black pupil and it sports a beautiful gloss coat as well the beak as well has a really nice yellowish coloration to it you can see the nostrils right there on the beak and then you can see a reddish crest behind all of that as well as a little hint of like an off-white up here on the top of the head so there is quite a bit of color variation to your quetzalcoatlus as you lead down here into the throat i like how the throat appears almost like an old school vintage style pterosaur with like the way the head's cocked back it looks really neat but you can see a nice coloration here on the underside of the throat with a white and the texturing of the skin is beautifully done right there and from there you lead back into the body with a really smooth transition to a light blue as the primary body color of our little baby Quetzalcoatlus. You can also see some more really nice detailing back here in the body as far as like the texturing as well as the spinal column running down the back of the pterosaur. Our baby Quetzalcoatlus is actually standing and you can see that the detailing here of the skin flaps of the wing looks really quite nice also and you have a few different variations of a darker purple and then a lighter purple on the inside area of the skin flap so some pretty nice color variation included in there as well and then the entire underside also sports a really nice kind of an off-white for the underside coloration as well as some more really nice detail on our baby Quetzalcoatlus you can see this side looks just as beautiful and again sporting that very screen accurate paint job to what you would see on a Dino Dana version of a Quetzalcoatl list. It looks really, really cool. And then we've got what could potentially be my favorite of all of these right here, and that is the Triceratops. You can see that the sculpt of the Triceratops looks great as per usual. When it comes to a Safari LTD figure, you can see that the actual scale detail up here on the head looks really quite nice. You have some very large scaling as you lead up into the frill, but you can also see those kind of Spikes that run around the frill look really quite nice. They're painted with a light yellow. And uh, the rest of the dinosaur, for the most part, has a few different like mixtures of oranges and yellows. So there's a lot of really nice color variation. And the yellow and orange color play off of each other really beautifully throughout the entire figure. You've also got those little baby style spikes up here on the head. They're painted with a nice off-white. They look super cute. The eyes are painted really beautifully. And I love how they've kind of outlined the eye here with a darker coloration so you can see the eye stands out a good bit more than it would had that not been included beautiful job there as far as that goes and then the eyes themselves are painted with a nice off-white and given a black pupil and just like the others are beautifully glossed so they shine very realistically the nostrils as well have been elaborated with a nice darker coloration a nice dark brown which seems to be the same brown that we see up here on the beak of our triceratops but that brown actually seems to have like a darker brown wash as well so there's two different variations of brown included in the beak area and the mouth in general is nicely elaborated with a darker coloration beautiful skin wrinkles and stuff increasing going on here in the face of the baby triceratops and if you actually come back up here to the frill you can see that there's some nice variations of like reddish browns up here that have a pretty cool looking design nothing special just kind of like a few splotches of that color up here but it looks cool and i think that's what's so flashy about it when we move to the back you can of course see the actual spinal column right there but when it comes to the paintwork i think that really cool like reddish brown that we have here plays off of the orange color really nicely and overall just gives it such a flashy look it really stands out as far as the paint application and the paint scheme to me it's definitely a striking look 
for a dinosaur, whether it's a baby or an adult. It's a really cool, very striking look, I think, as far as the actual paint application goes. So I really quite like the overall appearance to the paint scheme. And you can see as you move down the course of the body of our baby Triceratops, there's lots of really nice muscle tone included, as well as some nice skin movement shown within the sculpt. You can also see that the legs are sculpted beautifully, as this one is just picking up off of the ground. The rest seem to be pretty steadfast to the ground, but it seems like our baby Triceratops is about to take a step, so he looks super cute. Nice smooth transition as far as the orangish coloration down into a light yellow and then down into an off-white for the lower part of the legs. All of the paint application is applied really smoothly as far as like the transitioning back and forth. And the figure as a whole is just yet another of the beautiful hatchling figures from Safari LTD for the Dino Dana line. Definitely my favorite, I would say, at this point. And then we've got our Spinosaurus who has one of the cutest looks on his face, I would say. Out of all of these, he just looks insanely happy. Definitely psyched to be here on Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, it seems, but... The sculpt of this one as well looks really quite nice and it's got a beautiful paint scheme again with a nice green and then some orange included here and there as well as a little bit of like a grayish color here for the underside but I actually really quite like the idea of Spinosaurus being green because I feel like that would be potentially a realistic coloration of a Spinosaurus being that they have to spend so much time trying to kind of ambush you know fish and things like that to eat I feel like a green coloration would be something that would help the Spinosaurus to kind of blend in with its background. So I do like the usage of green on Spinosaurus, and then the orange here on the back is just a really nice flashy look for the figure. Makes, again, the entire thing stand out quite nicely as well. You can see the nostrils are sculpted out up there on the tip of the snout, and the eyes are painted with a white and given a black pupil. They, just like the others, have a nice gloss coat, so it shines quite realistically. You can see a little bit of that orange run under the eye socket area right there. The inside of the mouth is painted with a, seems like an off-white, I would say. Maybe almost like a light gray. Eh, definitely an off-white, if my camera would stay focused on the poor Spinosaurus. But it looks pretty nice. There's a little hint of sloppiness over here on this side, on the inside of the mouth. But it's definitely not anything that's bad at all. That's actually such a slight area of sloppiness. But as you lead down into the neck, you can see some really nice creasing there in the neck region, showing off some beautiful movement of our Spinosaurus. You also have some ridges that run along the back of the neck right there. And then that orange coloration runs down the center of the snout as well as the top of the head and then down into the sail. And then once it hits the sail, it just kind of stripes down to give it a little bit of a flashy look. You can see more really nice sculpt and detail as far as like the actual texturing to the skin throughout this Spinosaurus. You also have some orange that kind of stripes through the underside and then back up from the underside into the stomach region and a few stripes in the legs as well. And you've got some really nicely painted nails with a nice black, giving a nice gloss coat. And that's something that none of the others up until this point have had was actual nail paint. I don't think any of them have had nail paint up until this Spinosaurus. And you lead out the length of the tail. Again, beautiful detailing as we lead out that tail. And then you've got more of that orange up here on the top. And then the underside has like a light kind of a grayish coloration. So there's not too much going on color-wise, but what is included does look really quite nice, and that's pretty much how all of these have been so far. So it's another really cool-looking hatchling for the Dino Dana line. And then the final one is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I've always been a huge fan of the sculpt of this Rex. I really quite like it. Definitely a fun-looking baby Tyrannosaurus, and this paint scheme might probably be the best version that I've seen on this baby Rex yet. Really smooth, beautiful transitioning between browns but the actual tones of brown that they've used is really appealing to the eye and definitely a very naturalistic coloration I would say for a tyrannosaurus and you can also see some nice yellow stripes that run along the back of our rex just to make sure that it looks a bit flashier and then you can see that the teeth are all painted individually sculpted individually and really beautifully done there's no sloppiness as far as those teeth go at all you can see the nostrils there on the tip of the snout are sculpted quite nicely. The eyes themselves have a yellow coloration and a black pupil, and they are nicely glossed. So just like all of them, it has a very realistic eye shine. You can see the nails are painted there on the hands, so that is definitely a plus. The nails and the feet are also painted. Overall, the Rex looks beautiful. You also have kind of a light tan here on the underside as far as the coloration goes. Really beautiful 
very smooth transitioning between all of the colors. I like how that darker brown runs about halfway down into the face and then transitions to that lighter brown. And it's such a really nice realistic transition between those browns. And as usual, the detailing aspect of the Rex looks great throughout the entire model. You can see the ears up here on the top of the head, even some osteoderms and stuff poking up here and there. Beautiful skin detail throughout the entire Rex. Again, nice wrinkles and stuff where there should be wrinkles, nice stretching of the skin where there should be stretching of the skin. So yet another really, really cool hatchling figure for the Dino Dana line. All five of these are absolutely awesome. Another plus to these hatchling figures is that each and every one of them stand really nicely so there are no balancing issues whatsoever with these figures. But as far as a size goes, I'm not going to measure each and every one because I feel like that would be kind of pointless. As opposed to that, I'll just give you the tape measure over top to give you a good idea roughly of what the size is of each of the figures. They're not super tiny for being hatchling figures. They sport some decent size, but they're also not large by any means. Like you can see with my hand in here, they're not very big. Even in a height standpoint, the Baby Rex is just about closing in on two and a quarter inches and uh, or around the five and a half, six centimeter range. So they're not very large, but they're definitely not tiny for a size comparison. Here is the recently released Safari LTD feathered Tyrannosaurus Rex repaint for the Dino Dana line. And you can see in comparison to the Rex here, again, the size of these babies, it's definitely a pretty good size because this Rex is a fairly sizable Tyrannosaurus model, but the babies are also really quite nicely sized. And it's pretty fun to see the baby Rex there with an adult Rex as well. So hopefully if you are interested in these figures, you have this Tyrannosaurus and this comparison will help you out. So these Safari LTD Baby Hatchling Dinosaur repaints for the Dino Dana line are all really nice figures. Again, I've always been a big fan of the Hatchlings from Safari LTD. They always have such a cute appearance to them, but at the same time a really nice and highly detailed appearance. Safari LTD can manage to give you something that's quite highly detailed while still remaining really cute and adorable all at the same time and I think they've done a good job of displaying that throughout all of these figures they all have that adorable appearance and as far as the paint applications go these are probably my favorite renditions of each of the figures that we see here before us like they really look nice as far as the actual paint apps that they've been given really nice and flashy and uh, obviously very reminiscent to the way they appear in the Dino Dana series but at the same time, they all look fairly natural. I would say the closest one to not looking all that natural would be the Stegosaurus being a bluish coloration. But even that, even though it's a little bit of a leap, I would say, as far as the potential color of a Stegosaurus could without question be the coloration of a Stegosaurus. We really have no idea. So it could, in fact, look natural. And then you've got the Quetzalcoatlus, which is super cute. Almost has a little bit of like that old school vintage style look to it as far as the sculpt goes but at the same time a really beautiful really cool looking interpretation of a baby quetzalcoatlus which is something that you don't see pretty much ever i don't know that i've ever seen anyone else create a baby quetzalcoatlus other than safari ltd so that is a huge plus to this figure specifically but the paint application of that one as well looks really quite nice and a definitely a flashy look for the quetzalcoatlus but at the same time potentially a natural look then you've got my favorite, I would say, which would be the Triceratops. The Triceratops is beautiful. I've always loved that sculpt. Been a huge fan of that one for years. But again, I think this might be the best it's looked as far as the paint application and paint scheme they've chosen for it. The actual application of the paint looks really quite nice as well. And it's a really flashy, but again, a really natural looking appearance for the Triceratops. So probably I would say my favorite of this entire Dino Dana hatchling line so far and then you've got the really nice looking Spinosaurus again maybe not our most up-to-date interpretation of Spinosaurus but that's because the sculpt has been out for quite some time it's just a newly repainted version for the Dino Dana line but I really like the colors that they've chosen for this one as well all of the colors for each of these figures is really pleasing to the eye so that's probably one of the most appealing I would say aspects of these models even though they're just repaints of previously released figures all of them have such a beautiful new 
updated look with these color schemes that I really think they are a great addition to the Dino Dana line. And that Spinosaurus looks nice and natural with a hint of flashiness as well. And then you've got the Rex, which is probably my second favorite, closing in on potentially my favorite because I really love the tones of color that they've chosen for the figure. It's a really beautiful look for the baby Rex. The sculpt is fantastic like it always has been, but the paint scheme is, again, the best that I think this Rex has ever looked so far as well so without question some really great choices as far as the dino dana line something that i highly recommend if you are interested in that you pick up from the safari ltd website and if you do make sure you check the link in the description as i will have a link right there that will automatically apply a 15 percent discount to your order if you are going to order some of these or you can add the code andy at checkout so that you can get the 15 percent off one way or another make sure you pick these guys up because they are absolutely awesome and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching